There may be no sky forecast more consequential for Americans this spring than the one for April 8, when a solar eclipse will sweep across the country. Predictions are especially meaningful for those in the path of totality. The roughly one 15-mile wide swath from Texas to Maine where the moon will completely block the sun. Revealing the solar corona. The outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. Millions of people are traveling into this path, but a cloudy forecast could spoil what many say is an incomparable experience. The United States won't have another total solar eclipse until 2044. Cloud forecasts may not be reliable until a few days before the eclipse, but computer simulations are beginning to show weather patterns that give forecasters a general idea as to where either clear skies or clouds are most probable. Here's the latest forecast as of Thursday morning Eastern Time. The forecast will be regularly updated as the eclipse approaches, with the next update on Friday morning. Cloud forecast for April 8th percentage of sky covered by clouds Cloud forecast for April 8th percentage of sky covered by clouds Cloud forecast for April 8th percentage of sky covered by clouds Cloud forecast for April 8th percentage of sky covered by clouds Note that, based on past year's weather in areas that will be in the path of totality, where 100% of the sun will be obscured. Texas has been most likely to be cloud-free on April 8, while the zone from Ohio to Maine has more often had thick cloud cover. Percentage of sky covered by clouds Percentage of sky covered by clouds Percentage of sky covered by clouds How the forecast has changed over the past day Preliminary forecasts for several large cities in the path of totality Note that the cloud cover percentage forecasts provided by models do tend to err on the pessimistic side and don't distinguish between high, thin clouds through which the eclipse could be seen, and low, thick clouds that would obstruct it. If you don't see your city on the list above, you can look up the cloud forecast for any location in the table below. The above forecast map, discussion and table will be regularly updated through the day of the eclipse, when predictions will be most confident. Bookmark this page and check back occasionally. Forecast data is from the Weather Service's National Blend of Models. Type of eclipse data is from the U.S. Navy. Emily Eng, Tim Miko, SCUU Chen, Emily Sabins and Dan Stillman contributed to this report.